Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to a vlog style video. share a more casual video today just to give you guys a change of scenery um, but mostly I want to share with you guys the home update we have a lot of projects in the works and I'm so excited with the changes that we are going to be making we are finally taking on the main floor of our house I have been wanting to make these changes from the minute we moved in um, when we bought this house it was a spec home, so all of the interior choices were already, you know, it was already done. The house was completed, so I never got a say, and I have always wanted to just put my personal touch on this home and, you know, change things like flooring and, you know, the cabinet colors and, anyways, a lot of changes that I've been wanting to make, and we've slowly been making those changes. Um, we've been trying to work within budget and my husband does many of the projects on his own. He's definitely a DIYer and it just it saves us so much money. I'm very thankful that I have a handy husband. But yeah, so that's the plan. I'll give you guys a brief tour of the current progress. Our house is just a complete and utter disaster right now. Um, but it's all going to be well worth it in the end. and. I'm just really happy with the progress so far. It's looking so nice. And I actually put some self tanner on today because um, I'm gonna be filming for you guys a Walmart spring fashion haul. It's gonna be very casual, kind of athletic. Well, definitely athletic wear. Um, and I have a lot of cute little pieces, but I didn't wanna show my pale legs in the video. So just use the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze and I've been using this product for years and years. It's always my fallback product when I run out of the more expensive tanners. But to be honest with you guys, I think this one works just as well. I love this product. Um, so I put uh, one layer of that on today and I'm just gonna let it bake. I don't like sleeping with tanner on because um, I just don't like how it stains the sheets and it just smells so bad. I think all tanners just stink um, and I also while I was getting ready I have been using this whitener teeth whitener um, I use this whenever I feel like my teeth need some some whitening and this is one that I got in my favorite fun box uh, I think I think I actually got this last year but it's by it's called mobile white and it's by um, this dr. Bill Dorfman or endorsed by him, one, one or the other, but this is what the box looks like. And it's funny, because if you could see me while I'm getting ready, I look ridiculous, because um, I hook this little device up to my phone, and it's a blue light. So you just put the solution in the tray, and put it in your mouth, and plug it into your phone, and I guess something about the blue light just helps activate the ingredients, and it just really does a good job of whitening. See, this week I've used it for, I think, three times now, and I just feel like my teeth look a lot whiter because they were starting to get stained. I'm a coffee drinker, and um, so yeah, coffee naturally is gonna stain the tea. But I can't give up my coffee. I think I'm gonna start drinking with a straw <clears throat> because I heard that drinking coffee with a straw can you know, help eliminate or help, not eliminate, but um, you know, you won't, your teeth won't get as yellow, I guess. Okay, I don't even know where to begin, so I will start in the family room because this is the room that the flooring is pretty much just about done. Um, so as you can see, we, transition from dark dark flooring to a complete 180 and we went with white oak and I'm just so so happy with how 
it looks. It's so pretty, guys, and it just gives the house a completely different look. And um, yeah, I just couldn't be more pleased. So we went with, this is seven and a half inch wide planks. And I love the color. It's not too light. I didn't want anything that was too light, but then it's not too dark either because I didn't want, you know, I feel like this is the perfect in between. So we've got the family room pretty much just about done. And then the kitchen is also just about done. We do need to, we're going to be replacing all of the trim. So you can see that the base has been removed and excuse all the dust because it's definitely a construction zone right now. And I have a lot of cleaning to do once this is all like deep cleaning, once this is all, this flooring is all installed, but we are going to be installing new base trim and also wall trim. We're planning to do a bit of board and batten in the family room and also the entryway. Um, I may be taking my long curtains down. I know so many of you ask about these. So that's in the works. That's a plan we have. We're going to be repainting all the walls because they badly need it. We have not repainted the walls since we moved here eight years ago. Um, and then another big change is going to be the fireplace. And hopefully I'm not talking too fast for you guys because it's so funny when you film, you just are unaware sometimes of things you do, how fast you talk or how you talk. Anyways, I would love to do a stone fireplace, but that's still up in the air. We're not exactly sure what design we want to go with. And my husband would like to actually raise the hearth to make it a little higher. So we might be doing that, but yeah, this is all just you know, the initial stages. We are going to be carpeting these, changing, replacing this carpet on the stairs and also in the kids' bedrooms. And then we're going to be installing wood floor um, throughout the rest of the house. So the foyer here, which as you see is very much a mess. It's very much unfinished. Ripped all of the hardwood up and we're slowly making our way into the foyer area. So lots of changes, guys. It's been a long time coming. Um, you're prob probably wondering why all of this stuff is sitting here, but so some of this is the wood flooring that was tore up, some of the carpet over there that was tore up. Um, so my husband's going to actually be taking this to the landfill. Um, he was debating whether to rent a dumpster, but um, he thought he would save a few bucks by just dropping it off himself. So over here in the kitchen, just off the kitchen, we have our laundry room and this little um, kind of mud room area. Um, so what we've decided is we're actually going to tile this. So as you can see, that's our previous flooring. Um, so we're gonna take, let, you know, rip that up. And we're gonna replace it with tile because what I'd like to do is have tile run from the door all the way into the laundry room because right now we just have tile in the laundry room and I just feel like that would make this kind of like one big one big room instead of having it compartmentalized and I plan if if all goes well my husband's gonna check it out and excuse this mess Things are definitely messy right now, given all of the projects, projects going on. But what we'd like to do is remove this door frame and make this all one smooth wall. I would like to put a bench here on this wall. Let me back up. So I'd like to put a bench on this wall, have this wall gone so that this is just kind of one open room. And then if we're able to, I want to install a pocket door for this opening. So maybe install it here and have it close off the space. I don't know. That's what we're thinking. We need to kind of, you know, make sure that that's even possible.
Sam's Club was a complete and utter madhouse. Um, we're supposed to get a snowstorm starting tomorrow, so I'm sure everyone is out buying their bread and milk, but I could not get out of that store fast enough. Let me tell you. Um, so I did find a few goodies unexpectedly, and I'll share those with you um, as soon as I get home. But right now I'm going to head over to Home Depot. I, I want to see what tile they have. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, I'm thinking ahead for when we're ready to tile that mudroom area. Um, I think I want to go with a black tile. I'm not completely sure just yet. I'll leave a, I'll put a picture up here of some ideas I have. Um, but I'm thinking that would look kind of neat to have the contrasting black against the lighter white oak, oak flooring. Um, or maybe I'll go with a white so it all kind of uh, flows together. I don't know. I'm debating. But I want to see what they have. There's another store that I plan to go to with my husband probably this this weekend it's just a little further out but they have like all kinds of tile and um a lot bigger selection to choose from I just got a few items. I thought I would do a mini grocery haul here. So at Sam's Club, I just, I was going to make something for dinner tonight, but then I saw their street tacos, which are always so, so good. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna take the easy way out tonight and we'll just have these. Um, I'll probably make something different for um, my one son. He's a little picky. He doesn't like tacos, which I don't quite understand, but so I'll probably make him something different. Um, so I just picked up some ground beef and I like to get it at Sam's Club because you just get a better deal. So I got, this is like a pack of three pounds for $14.94. It's a pretty good price. And then ballpark hot dogs, my kids like these. And then lately we've been on the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit kick um these are obviously so so good um and it's a good deal for the whole box you get like a pack of four four packs so i also picked up some press and seal because i needed this and sam's club has you know you can buy it in bulk for a really good buy i got bread because we always are out of bread um and then i don't know if you saw in the video i showed these candles right here and I did pick up this one earlier. Um, I think I got this a few days ago when I was at Sam's. It's funny because I went to Sam's a few days ago, but then I forgot some items, so I ended up having to go back. But this smells really good, and I thought this was just such a pretty color for spring, and it's a really large candle for the price. Um, last but not least, from Sam's. Actually, no, I got a few more items. I've been searching for a new perfume, and... I'm still on the hunt, but I am completely out of perfume at the moment, if you can believe it. I have gone through all of my perfumes. I made it a mission just to use what I had before I bought anything new. Um, so I thought I would give these a try. It's been a long time since I've worn this. I actually had this a long time ago. I did like it. I think it was around $35, and it comes with four little samples. There's also one in the back there. so. That was a good buy. I also got this hamper. I thought this would be perfect for one of my kids' rooms. It's actually quite large and it was only, it was under $20. It was like $18 and some odd cents, but I love that it has a lid and then you can remove um, this cloth. Um, so I thought that was a really, really good buy. So I'll put that in. I'm going to try it in one of my kids' rooms. Who knows? Maybe I will use it in my room or my bathroom, I should say. Um, I may have to go buy a couple more because 
um, it'd be nice to have one in each kid's room. But again, that was a really good buy, I thought. And then last but not least, it's so funny because when I was at Sam's Club a few days ago, I was debating whether to get this. And then, you know, I didn't get it at the time because I thought it might be too big. However, I kept thinking about it. And then when I was at Sam's today, it seemed like every, everybody had one of these in their cart. So um, it's a dog bed, but it's not any dog bed. It's, it looks more like a rug. So it's just, it's prettier, you know, prettier on your, your floors. So I'm going to test it out, see if the dogs like it. And if they do, I'll keep it. If they don't like it, I'm taking it back. Bella, say, say, look what I got. Do you like it? Come here, it's a bed. It's a new bed for you. Come over here. Okay, let's test it out. Look at that. I think they like it. Aw, look how cute that is. What are you eating, Bella? She's always getting into stuff. What are you eating? Sit. You like it? Gotta cut this tag off. That is so cute. I think it's a keeper. We'll see. We'll see if they actually use it, but it looks it looks really pretty for a dog bed. So say so you wanna sit over here. You gonna sit on the bed? What do you think? Sit. Oh, so cute. Do you like it, Bella? Also, I forgot to mention, I did purchase from Home Depot. I picked up this hard surface spray mop that I thought I would try for the wood floors. If you guys have ever tried this or if you have like a spray mop you use that you really like for hardwood, let me know. Um, I typically use my spin mop for, you know, for our prior wood flooring, but thought I would try something new. So this one is by Lifeproof and it has two spray modes. There's one for large areas and then a spray mode for tight spaces. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. And then I also picked up, I found only, to be honest, there was just one tile that interested me. So I thought I would try this out. First impression, I love, love the shape of the tile. I, it's such a modern look. I really like that. And I do like the black. I like how it contrasts with the lighter flooring. I think it would look really good if you know, with like a light colored grout in between. I love the size of those tiles. So we will see, but I just started looking. So I'm gonna keep looking until I find what I really like, but let me know what you guys think. I think that might be a contender. I really do think black in that area would look nice, but I'm gonna try something light too, just to have, you know, check out all my options. I had to put Bella on the couch because she was getting into stuff and she doesn't jump off the couch on her own. She's so funny. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was very short and sweet, um, but my kids are home from school now and it just becomes that much harder to film, so. I'm going to wrap it up here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're interested, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on our home improvement journey. But again, thanks so much for being here and I will see you very soon in my next one. Take care.